It's great to have so many people who care so much about human trafficking and about ending human trafficking here in the state of Texas. When we talk about human trafficking, many times people don't understand what's happening. But here in Texas, we are the hub of human trafficking, and so we need to be the group that solves these problems. And right here in front of the Capitol, and right here with legislators, we're able to say, here in Texas is where it begins, and here's where it ends. This is where we're going to stamp out human trafficking. It is a beautiful day, but unfortunately, for many victims of trafficking, for many victims of trafficking, it is not a beautiful day. We need to understand that here in the state of Texas, where we've been very good at going after those traffickers, we need to do more. We also need to start paying attention to the many victims that we have of human trafficking uh, here in the state of Texas. Hundreds of thousands of children are sold for sex every year here in the United States. They're bought and sold here in Texas, and we're going to work tirelessly, all of us together, Senator Van Der Butte, Representative Riddle, and many others, we're going to work tirelessly to end trafficking here in Texas. We no longer want to turn a blind eye as we drive to work on our morning commute and where we see clubs and cantinas and tea houses and massage parlors. We need to understand that those places are dens of iniquity. Those are places where trafficking is happening uh, in our state. We also need to understand that trafficking is happening on the internet. Why is it that in the state of Texas, it's faster to order a young girl to come to your hotel room than it is to order a pizza. That's outrageous and it's sordid and it's horrible and that needs to stop. Texas has made great strides in the fight against trafficking and our work is far from complete. But the eyes of the nation are upon Texas. America is watching us. What are we going to do? We have passed a lot of legislation, but there are still too many girls, too many boys, too many young women that are trafficked day in, day out. Too many girls that are raped hour after hour after hour. This needs to stop and it needs to stop in Texas. There are a lot of us here today, and I know there are many, many more all across the state of Texas. People who work in law enforcement, people who work in nonprofits, communities of faith. This is one of those issues in the state of Texas where Republicans and Democrats and conservatives and moderates can all come together and say this needs to stop. The crew that is that that is uh, that has brought itself together to fight trafficking is large, but we're going to need to fight long and hard because this is an issue where money is involved. There are people who are making money off of young girls, and we're going to need to fight hard to make sure that that stops. Let me go ahead and uh, bring a few of our. Uh, representatives uh, to the podium, people who have fought long and hard. The first is a senator, a senator State Senator Leticia Vandepew from San Antonio, one of the real champions for children in the state of Texas and a real champion of the fight against human trafficking. Please give a warm welcome to Senator Leticia Vandepew. <laughs> Thank you and, and good morning. Thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate your presence here because the greatest gift that you can give is the gift of your time. And so for all of you who are here today to make visits to the Capitol, thank you. Your effort will help our young, particularly our young women, in, in an effort that we have to make sure that they don't become the victims of human trafficking and that those who are caught in this horrible, horrible, greedy crime are rescued and then are given the proper services that they need to again live a life of dignity. I am so thankful for the help from Children at Risk and of my colleagues here, of Chairwoman Sophronia Thompson and of, of the representatives Debbie Brittle and I know Todd Hunter's here, but there are so many legislators who worked on this all legislative interim before we got here, but we need your help. And we're so thankful for the many faith-based groups who believed in this and who came and knocked on doors when nobody even knew what human trafficking was, because to think that this happens in our state is a very ugly, ugly thought. So 
it is with great pride today that as you begin your visits that the Senate is pleased to recognize. And so I would, on behalf of the efforts of, of the legislature, read our, our proclamation. Whereas the Senate of the State of Texas is pleased to join Texans across the state in observing February 25th 2013 as Anti-Human Trafficking Day at the Capitol, and whereas human trafficking is the modern manifestation of the ancient scourge of slavery, domestic and international victims of human trafficking are often lured by false promise of a better life, only to find themselves enslaved in the illicit sex or labor industries, and whereas the occurrence of human trafficking within our state and nation has led to cooperative efforts between the Texas legislature, numerous other government agencies to combat this terrible crime. Laws have been enacted to protect victims and punish traffickers. A task force has been created and mandatory law enforcement training that has raised awareness among first responders. And whereas the advocacy groups across this state have played an important role in making people aware of this atrocity through direct service, policy advocacy, research, community education, and among the many groups performing this invaluable service, our Children at Risk, Redeemed Ministries, the Texas Catholic Conference, the Baptist General Convention of Texas, and the Combined Law Enforcement Association of Texas, and many, many other groups. And where it is, it's truly appropriate that a day be set aside to raise awareness of this inhumane practice. And now, therefore, be it resolved that the state of Texas, the 83rd legislature, hereby commend the organizations and the individuals working to eliminate human trafficking in our state and nation. And we extend the best wishes for a productive anti-human trafficking day at the Capitol, and be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution be prepared in honor of this important occasion. It is signed by our leaders in the state, and I would like to present this right now to Dr. Bob Sanborn. Capital, take this message so we can eliminate this horrible, horrible crime.